Hey, what's up guys? Mike Patrick. In this video, I want to talk about how to energetically align yourself with your food. It doesn't matter what you are eating. I want to talk about how you can energetically align yourself so whatever you are eating, it will benefit you not only physically, but also spiritually as well, okay? Now, what happens a lot of times, guys, is the reason why a lot of foods do do us harm is because we often give foods a bad rap, okay? So if we already give a food a bad rap, but yet we still can't control ourselves from eating that food, what do you think is going to be the outcome, okay? So, if we talk about society, what we do, right? We talk about junk food as being just that junk and it, and it being bad for us, okay? But many of us can't keep ourselves away from these foods. So we have a, a mentality that, okay, if I eat ice cream, it's bad for me. If I eat potato chips, it's bad for me. If I eat candy bars, it's bad for me, right? If I eat candy, it's bad, right? And, we'll, and we formulate that in our mind, but then we still eat these foods. And then over time, we blame these foods for putting weight on us, okay? Giving us diabetes, giving us cancer, giving us heart problems, okay? And things of that nature, all right? So I wanna talk about how if you can't stop yourself from eating certain foods, this is how you can align yourself so those foods may not affect you the same way. Did you ever ask yourself why some people can eat a certain way and do certain things and their health still remains fine? They can live to a ripe old age and seem to be fairly healthy. All right, I think, okay, we know that a lot of that has to do with genetics, right? But a lot of it also has to do with their mentality, okay? For example, if you're smoking cigarettes and your whole life people are telling you cigarettes are bad for you, cigarettes are bad for your lungs, cigarettes are gonna give you lung cancer, and you know it's bad and you feel guilty every time you smoke a cigarette but you can't stop yourself, then all of a sudden you manifest sickness, okay? But um, there's some people who, um, who have lived some of the longest lives we have on record that has smoked cigarettes to the day they died, that has eat, eaten uh, bad foods, so-called bad foods like pork and things of that nature to the day they died, that have drunk alcohol to the day they die and not fine alcohol, not fine wine and things like that, but things like Thunderbird, okay? I think it was a guy who died um, um, recently who lived to be like maybe like 119 or something or something like that. He was a centurion and he said he, he ate bacon every day, eggs, and drunk, th and drunk Thunderbird every single day, okay? So, you know, but um, the thing is, guys, we just got to align ourselves with And also, this is for people who are fairly healthy like what I've done right I am not religious about eating you heard me say that before and what I eat but I know what type of foods have what effects okay and so what I do is when I do choose to eat something that I know probably isn't the best food from a health standpoint I make sure it's feeding my soul and my spirit so things that I like when I was little and I didn't care about that I, what I ate Okay, I align myself with it. And I say, this is going to give me that youthful feeling. It's going to give me that happy feeling from when I was a child. So I, I try to make positive, a positive uh, outlook and outcome for anything that I do and put inside my body. So don't feel bad about certain foods that you eat if you don't think that they may be that healthy. Find a way to make them feed you on some level, okay, in a healthy manner, even if it's spiritually. And that's a way that you can transition into good foods and what you can do until you do make that turn around the corner. Okay, guys? So hopefully this is a helpful video. Align yourself with your food. And also, don't eat when you're mad, upset too, okay? That vibration goes into your food, goes off onto your food. And even when you're eating healthy food, you don't get the, the, the best out of it because you were eating it while you were mad. So if you're eating high vibration of food, fruits and vegetables, make sure you're in a good mood. Don't get in an argument and then go try to eat and eat these healthy foods because you're not going to get the best uh, results, okay? And the outcome that you could have got if you was happy and, and you know, and, and at peace when you were eating these high vibrational foods. So hopefully this is a helpful video, guys. Peace.